Hey guys, so spring is the season for brunches. So today I wanted to arm you with a really easy, fabulous recipe that looks impressive, but comes together in minutes. It is my quiche cup with lemon dill cream topped with smoked salmon. It may look like a mouthful, but I'm telling you, they are the easiest things to put together and the whole thing can be made the day before my kind of party food. So let me show you how to make a signature brunch item at our house, the quiche cup. Now, because we are serving these as a main course, I do like to use a jumbo muffin tin because I find that you get a better portion that way, but you could also use a regular size muffin tin and maybe serve everybody too. So for the base of our cups, we are going to be working with phyllo dough. Now, if you've never worked with it before, it is an interesting product. It basically comes in sheets, uh, typically nine by 14, and you wanna make sure that it's nice and thawed before you work with it. I like to just pop it in my fridge overnight, and then by the time the morning comes, it's nice and thawed. So we're only gonna use about six to eight sheets. Then we are going to cut it in half, and then we're gonna take each half and cut that in half. One of the things I love about this recipe is there's no waste. You can use the whole sheet. So I designed it specifically for that. Then we're gonna take some melted butter and grease each of our muffin wells. Then we're gonna take a stack of our phyllo dough and we're going to place it in our muffin tin going one way and then take the other stack and have it going the other way. Almost like making a little X. And you'll see it'll create this really nice sort of like tulip effect, almost like a little flower. Now this recipe is designed to feed 12 people because anytime you're having a brunch, you usually have a bit of a crowd, but you could easily cut this recipe in half. Then you're just gonna brush your phyllo dough with a little bit more melted butter, and then you can set that aside. Then we're going to prepare our filling. So in a large bowl, you're gonna crack in 12 eggs. And then to the eggs, you're gonna add 3 quarters cup of heavy cream, you can go ahead and whisk that all up, just beating the eggs and making sure you have a nice smooth mixture. And then we're gonna add some seasoning. So we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt and some freshly cracked pepper. Then in the base of our cups, we are going to add a tablespoon of mozzarella cheese and a teaspoon of freshly minced chives. Now I like to add the cheese and the chives this way because that assures that everybody gets a nice amount of cheese and chives in their quiche cup. If you added it all to the batter, sometimes some gets overly poured with the cheese and the chives and other cups get skimped. So this is a way to avoid that. Then we're gonna take our egg batter and you can pour it into a pitcher, which is going to make this a lot easier to fill these cups. And then we're gonna fill each one with the egg batter about three quarters of the way full. Then you're gonna pop these in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for just about 12 minutes. You know that they're done when the edges start to turn golden brown and you see the egg in the center starts to puff up. If you feel like your phyllo dough is getting too brown, you can also just place some aluminum foil on top of it just to allow those eggs a chance to actually cook inside. While it's in the oven, we can bake our lemon dill cream that's going to be used as a garnish on top of our cups. So in a small bowl, you're going to add two thirds cup of sour cream. Now I have heard a lot of you tell me that you can't get sour cream in your country. So you could swap that out with either creme fraiche or you could use plain non-fat Greek yogurt that's unflavored. And then all we're gonna do is add a teaspoon of freshly grated lemon zest and a tablespoon of freshly minced dill. And then just whisk that up and you can set that aside. Once your quiche cups are fully baked, you can take them out of the oven and allow them to cool. And at this stage, if you were doing this the day before your party, you could just place some aluminum foil gently on top and pop it in the fridge. Leave them in the muffin tins. This is what makes this so easy. Then the day of the party, preheat your oven to 300 degrees, take the foil off, pop them in the oven for 15 minutes, and they will reheat beautifully. Don't be alarmed if the phyllo dough starts to become like more pliable. It will actually crisp back up in the oven when you go to reheat it. And then the way that I like to serve these is just place them all on an elevated cake stand. Give a little dollop of the lemon cream on top. Now I know this sounds like such a strange combination, the egg and the sour cream and the salmon, but I'm telling you, it is the most delicious combination. You've gotta trust me on this. In fact, my husband loves this so much, I actually double the recipe for the lemon cream to serve it on the side. It's that good. And then you can take a little piece of smoked salmon, just kind of roll it up so that it looks pretty and presentable, place that on top of the cream, and then the finishing touch is just to take a little sprig of fresh dill and place it on top. And you will see, you will have one darling little quiche cup that is so delicious. 
I love the flavor combinations in this recipe because you have that flakiness of the phyllo dough mixed with that warm velvety egg custard underneath, topped with that lemon cream sauce and that smoked salmon. Really such a great recipe for a brunch. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. I certainly think it'll make a big impression at your next brunch. So if it's up to you to host Mother's Day, a bridal shower, or a baby shower, I hope you give this recipe a try. And I will see you back here next week for another delicious recipe. Until then, bye.